Mimic Makers Biomimicry Inventors Inspired by Nature Mimic Makers Biomimicry Inventors Inspired by Nature by Kristen Nordstrom Illustrated by Paul Boston Published by Charles Bridge How does a kingfisher dive into the water without a splash? Why are a whale's flippers bumpy? Why do maple seeds twirl when they fall? How does a gecko walk on walls? Mimic makers wonder how nature works. They learn from living things such as animals, plants, and fungi. They mimic or copy good ideas to create useful inventions. What can you learn from the living world? What can you invent? Be inspired by these mimic makers. A bullet train with a beak. Whoosh! Here comes the Skincanson bullet train, a locomotive with a nose like a bird beak. Its sleek shape makes it quiet, fast, and energy efficient. But it wasn't always a 200 mile per hour silver streak. At first, every time the train traveled through a tunnel, it blasted out the other end with a boom that could be heard for miles around. That all changed when a bird watcher's idea took flight. Nakatsu Aiji watched a kingfisher plunge like an arrow into the water below. How did this daring diver hit the surface with hardly a ripple? Aiji discovered that the kingfisher's pointed beak cuts smoothly through air and water. IG brought this idea to work, where he was trying to redesign the skin canson. He shaped the nose of the train like the kingfisher's bill. This design streamlined the booming train into a quiet ride that flies faster and uses less energy. Leaves light up. This shiny solar cell has superpowers. Like all solar cells, it soaks up sunlight and makes electricity. But this cell isn't flat and stiff like a solar panel on the roof of a house. It flexes and bends, and it's lightweight. It also absorbs more light than a flat solar cell of the same size. That's because it's designed after the best natural sun catcher on the planet, the leaf. Who came up with this lovely leafy idea? Yu Lin Lin Lu looked at a leaf under a microscope and saw shallow wrinkles and deep folds. Why was it so crinkly? Working with her team, Lynn discovered that the leaf's wrinkles and folds do two things. They soak up sunshine and they channel light like a river channels water. This helps more light get absorbed. The more sunlight a plant absorbs, the more food it can make through photosynthesis. Lynn decided to mimic this genius design to create a better solar cell. Her team invented a plastic sheet with wrinkles and folds like a leaf's surface. The sheet sticks to the surface of a bendable solar cell, and waves of sunlight flow through the wrinkles like water running through a hose. Lynn hopes that someday these solar cells will bring clean energy to people all over the world. No showers 
for sharks. Sharklet is a thin film that can keep everything from ships to submarines spotless. A layer of this material can also stop germs from growing on medical devices, cell phone cases, and other things we use every day. Sharklet's secret is its super tiny bumps and raised ridges which repel algae and germs without the use of chemicals. This new technology was inspired by a fish that's been around since the time of the dinosaurs. Tony Brennan watched a nuclear submarine rise to the surface of the sea. It was as long as seven school buses and covered with goopy green algae. Only hours of scrubbing and gallons of water would make this vessel shine again. Tony knew there must be a better way. That's when an idea swam right into his head. Sharks! These fish swim day and night in ocean water. How do they stay so clean? Under a high-powered microscope, Tony discovered that shark skin isn't as smooth as it looks. Embedded in the skin are tiny V-shaped structures called denticles. These are rough like sandpaper and have scratchy ridges that keep water flowing and germs from growing. Inspired by shark skin, Tony invented a coating he named Sharklet. Drink like a bug. The Dew Bank bottle collects drinking water from the morning mist. At night, this steel bottle is put outside to cool. In the morning, when the sun comes up, warm air hits the cold bottle. The water in the air condenses and forms dew, which sticks to the bottle's outside bumps. When the water droplets get heavy enough, they roll along channels to a holding chamber. Ah, sweet H2O! Pat Kaite was 12 years old when he saw a nature documentary about the Namibian beetle. He watched in wonder as the insect tipped its rear end up to the sky and collected water from the morning fog. This critter had found an amazing way to drink in the desert. Twenty years later, the memory of this insect came buzzing back to Kaite. He remembered how water stuck to bumps on the beetle's back, then rolled in rivers into its mouth. Kaite decided to copy the beetle's shapes to invent a water collector. He didn't need to come up with the perfect design. Nature had already done that. A friendly fungus among us. This rice is doing the seemingly impossible. It's growing in hot, dry, salty soil. How does it survive? If you zoom in close with a microscope, you'll see a fungus living inside the rice plant. This fungus keeps the rice growing strong, but it wasn't always there. Rodriguez and Redman It all started with a fight over a plant. Panic grass grows near the boiling geothermal pools of Yellowstone National Park. Botanists, scientists who study plants, were sure the grass had changed to survive the heat. But two microbiologists disagreed. Rusty Rodriguez and Regina Redman studied tiny organisms too small to see with the human eye. They had a hunch there was more to the mystery. After years of research in the Wyoming wilderness, they discovered that the grass survives 
because it has a fungus living inside it. The grass and fungus have formed a symbiotic relationship, which is like a good friendship. The buddies help protect each other from the heat. Rusty and Regina borrowed this idea to invent BioInsure, a liquid containing the fungus. Seeds treated with BioInsure can grow in harsh conditions without harmful chemicals, thanks to a friendly fungus. From Fins to Fans The bumpy blades on this turbine help make clean energy. As wind blows on the blades, the turbine spins and turns the wind's energy into electricity. This electricity helps keep lights on, refrigerators cool, and computers up and running. The blades may be bumpy, but they're smooth operators. They're quieter and more efficient than straight blades. Some studies even show they put out more power. So how did these blades get their bumps? Frank Fish stood in an art gallery staring at a sculpture of a humpback whale. Something seemed wrong. He ran his finger over the curves of a flipper. He asked the gallery owner why the artist had made the front so lumpy. The owner showed him a picture of a real humpback whale. To Frank's surprise, the leading edge of the flipper curved up and down in an uneven pattern of bumps. But why? Frank discovered that the curvy shapes help move water evenly over the flipper. This enables a big whale to make tight turns. Frank wondered if he could design a turbine blade based on the same idea. After many tries, he invented a big, beautiful blade that moves through air just like a whale flipper moves through water. Whirly Birds and Flying Machines Stand back! A samurai air vehicle is coming in for a landing. The single wing of this flying machine was modeled after the marvelous maple seed with a few special additions. There's a thruster at its tip and a flap behind its wing. These extras help it hover in place. Who invented this fantastic flyer. Kingsley Phrygene grew up on the banks of the Niger River. As a young boy, he was fascinated by flight. He made paper airplanes and watched in awe as sunbirds zipped through the sky. Many years later, as an engineer, Kingsley studied how hummingbirds fly and how maple seeds, called samaras, sail on the breeze. As a seed falls from a tree, it twirls through the air. Its wind, wing spins around and around, helping it stay up longer, fly farther, and land in a sunny spot to grow. Kingsley decided to mimic this brilliant design. He and his team created a single-winged drone and named it the Samurai. Today, Kingsley and other engineers are investigating how animals like insects, birds, and fish move together as a group. If they can get many air vehicles to fly together, they can reduce how much energy each machine uses. Lizard Sticky Tricks You can really get a grip with Gexkin technology. This sticky stuff is based on a prototype that is so strong that a piece the size of your hand can stick a motorcycle to the wall. It is made of two parts, a soft nylon that sticks like tape to a surface, and a stiff woven fabric 
that holds the connection in place. If you try to drag the sticky pad, it won't budge. But if you pull up on it and away from the surface, the way a gecko peels its foot up, voila, the adhesive comes right off. Duncan Erschick and Alfred Crosby watched Takai geckos walk up walls and saunter across ceilings. They wanted to know this lizard's sticky tricks. Under a high-powered microscope, they observed that the gecko's toe pads were covered with thousands of tiny bristles called seda. Through many experiments, Duncan and Alfred explored how these seda work with the tendons in a gecko's foot. Tendons are tissues that act like super strong rubber bands. They are flexible, which help the gecko's foot mold to a surface. They are also stiff, which helps hold the foot firmly in place. Duncan and Alfred were inspired by the way a gecko's foot grips and lets go of a surface. First, they invented a prototype called Gekskin. Next, they invented products based on this working model. These products stick to a surface, hold on tight, and let go when needed. You can use them to hang all sorts of things, pictures, lights, and even tools. Maybe one day, as these products develop, you'll be able to use Gekskin to saunter across the ceiling. It doesn't matter where you live, in a city, on a farm, or by the sea, nature's secrets are waiting for you. Wonder, investigate, and learn from the living world. Become a mimic maker and invent something new.